you know, probably the last 15 years that I've been wrestling. It's been a wild move ride for you. You've been around. Um, at one point, you're back in NAIA. Um, you're here in PA, or you're in PA next door. How are you able to, to train at a high level and get back into wrestling and make a U.S. national team? I mean, I'm thankful to have uh, you know good coaches and good support. Um, Grandview has given me a great opportunity to give me, get my education and be able to come, become a college coach, which is a dream of mine. You know, being able to give back to the sport that's given me so much, I think, is very important in wrestlers' careers. So, the reason I went back to or to Grandview is just to get my degree. And I mean, I I think I've been one of the best Greco wrestlers in America since coming out of high school. Luckily, I had Dennis Hall in my hometown. You see, you know, Koontz is gonna be wrestling tonight in Final X. Um, I mean, Dennis is a huge reason that we had great success as a Greco community in, in Wisconsin. For sure, it's definitely a grind, but it gives me opportunity to get insurance for myself and Evelyn, which is, is huge. Um, being able to support my daughter. Uh, yeah, but um, you know, I'm ready for something different, though, too. You know, I've been doing this for 15 years, and MMA is calling my name. So I'll be moving out to California with my girlfriend, who she, she's going to be. She's actually competing today for the U.S. grappling trials. Um, she's about to be, become a double black belt, and hopefully she can do really well at Team Alpha Male. And that's my next move after Olympic year. A lot of guys have talked about bouncing back in wrestling here for two third. You know, what does that mean to you to once again do that? And also, how do you get your mind right to do it as well? It was hard, for sure. I'm not gonna lie, to find motivation for this. Um, but I gotta keep that insurance really for my daughter. I think that was the biggest, biggest thing. And yeah, I don't know. It's been a, it's been a wild ride for me this year. You know, not being able to compete at Worlds because of my USADA suspension, not being able to compete at the NAIAs because of that. And then, you know, a month before the U.S. Open, they're like, oh, we made a mistake. So, well, I'm going to be bad. You, you can wrestle again, free and clear. So I honestly had, like, one of the worst years of my life. My car got repoed. I was working um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, despite, you know, my full 17 credits on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So this past year is really a... Uh, I guess made me look at life a little differently um, and just how like precious it is. So, you know, I'm just ready to settle down and have a family and get married and do normal people stuff for a while. But face punch, you're gonna punch the face. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I just need to find some something new and I'm ready for, you know, you do something for so long. And uh, like you said, it's, it's hard to find motivation to continually do do something and even in this year when I lost I felt like I was being offensive I felt like I should have won those matches that I wrestled in and it's hard to feel that and then also be who I am I feel like I should get the calls and not somebody else so I don't know this past year has made me look at things a lot differently congrats on another U.S. national team